do a lot of work on the question of equity. What is it? And what models have you have, do you have of doing that work that goes across people's, you know, across divides or apparent divides? Mm -hmm. When I use the term equity, I mean just and fair inclusion into a society in which all can participate, prosper, and reach their full potential. Equity really looks at the outcomes that we want for people and it backs into what the inputs need to be. Um, when we think about this extraordinary inequality that we're experiencing right now, equity is more important than ever. I think that equity is the antidote to inequality. If we really create a space in which everybody is able to reach their full potential, we are pushing against these extraordinary disparities that we have seen. But this notion of equity is one that really pushes against the notion of a zero-sum game. Equity is not a zero-sum game. Zero-sum meaning if I, have some, if I have more rights, you'll have fewer. Mm -hmm. It is not about that at all. What it is about is by making sure that everybody can participate, everybody benefits. The example that I use to make that point is the example of those curb cuts in the sidewalk that are there because of the advocacy of people with disabilities in wheelchairs, mm -hmm. who even as they gained rights, uh, civil rights, could not really realize those rights if they couldn't physically get around the communities that they lived in. Mm -hmm. So through their advocacy, we got those curb cuts. But how many times have people been pushing strollers and not had to pick those contraptions up? Workers had their burden eased when they're pulling wagons and pushing carts. How many times have we just been trying to catch a train and we were able to do it because of those curb cuts? And something else we know is those curb cuts save the lives of unencumbered pedestrians because they orient people to cross at the corner. Study after study has documented the lives that are saved. The point is that when we solve problems for the most vulnerable with nuance and specificity, the benefits cascade up and out. The same is true for the economy that we have an economy in which people are being left behind and the people who are being left behind the most, those who were formerly incarcerated, those who are recent immigrants, those who haven't been able to get the benefit of a robust education. If we focus on those people who've been left behind, who are disproportionately of color, by the way, and becoming the majority very rapidly, if we get it right for those who are being left behind, the economy improves. We know that if we close the wage gap between people who are white and people who are of color, the GDP would be $2.1 trillion higher. So the benefits are extraordinary. What we need to do is to begin to embrace this notion that we really all are in this together.